Also released from the Green Bay Packers, we've got, um, this is written by Tom Silverstein, Stein. More big news, Caleb Jones released. Now, I didn't, and I don't think most people had Caleb Jones on the 53. However, I did have him on the practice squad. Um, I really like Caleb Jones. I thought the Packers really like Caleb Jones. I think most Packer fans do, if for no other reason than he's a massive monster. However, it is in here that he was not offered a spot on the practice squad, so Jones will be looking to start his career elsewhere. So presumably the way that this works is, and we've seen it you know, on shows like Hard Knocks and whatnot, a lot of times they'll let you know when you're getting released that we'll be looking to bring you back, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, my, my general thought process is if you're one of the first ones released, you're probably not getting a spot. Now, there's speculation about Honors Carlson. Possibly all the kickers are going to get released. And then that'll open up the opportunity for them to place somebody else on IR um, and then bring him back. I don't really know. And I don't know why Honors would be released this early if that was the case either way. But speculation as to the fact that maybe that's not necessarily the case. That's also not necessarily the case, the case being not coming back, with Samori Ture. Now, this is one that I think, again, I don't think anybody had him on the 53. Uh, we'd have to check Matt Trombone's site. Maybe somebody did. Um, but there, there is some question about whether or not he would be able to be on the practice squad. Um, and we don't know the answer to that. It's not written in here whether or not he's expected to be on the practice squad or not. We will have to find out. My guess is no. Um, similar to, apparently, Andres Carlson... Um, I think at some point, you know, everybody's a developmental prospect. You know, when you, if you're drafted early, you're expected to play, but everybody essentially, when you get picked up is a developmental prospect. The, the question is when you've reached a point where we feel like we've developed you as best as we can, can you play for us? And Samori Ture has gotten to that point where he's been here long enough where the Packers probably have a feel of what he's able to do. And if he's hit that point, and I think most of us have seen him now long enough to realize, I don't know that there's much growth happening. He's kind of the guy that he is. And that makes him number seven, number eight, whatever number he is in your mind on this depth chart, it's not a number that you feel great about in terms of we need to keep him around to develop him. Now, the the, the practice squad isn't just about development, but I think it's mostly about development. You know, it's, you could look at it and say, well, you want a, a guy that could potentially be called up. You want a guy that's good for the practice squad for the sake of practicing, whatever the case may be. But I think generally the Packers are going to lean toward um, younger guys like perhaps Stanley, who don't provide what Samore Ture does in terms of just, you know, ability right now and understanding of the offense. And if, you know, would you rather have Ture or Stanley? It's probably Ture, but I think from a developmental standpoint, and, and Stanley is my pick to be on the practice squad. We'll see how that uh, pans out. I think it's Stanley. I can't remember. <laughs> but um, my my thought is it's kind of run its course with Samore Ture, and I don't think he'll be back. But we will wait and see once the uh, practice squad starts to come together if Samore Ture does make it. By the way, for those that are curious... It always runs through my head. It used to be a much bigger deal. There were rules as far as who can be on the practice squad. There are still rules, but there basically just aren't rules anymore. So it used to be, first of all, I think, you know, like 10 players. I mean, and they expanded it to 10 recently within the last five years or something like that. Um, much smaller and much more strict to where, you know, you can't have a single year of eligibility and, and things like that. Now you can have six players out of 16. So almost the entire size of what practice squads used to be. Six players that have no um, eligibility, eligibility requirements in regard to um, how many games or years of accrued seasons they have. And then four that can have uh, no more than two years. And then beyond that, you can't... Uh, there, there's like two that are okay if they do have an accrued season, but not more than nine games. I mean, they, they've basically made it where you can put anybody you want on the practice squad is the point. So if you're concerned about is he eligible, because you're like me, you've been doing this for a while and 
remember when it mattered. It it's basically doesn't matter anymore. So uh, Samori Ture is certainly eligible for the practice squad.